Alright, so my clients are Buddhist, as far as I can tell. Um, so this is an altar for them. It's going in their main living room. Uh, it's made out of cherry. And uh, so obviously I just start by machining out my timber. So these pieces will become the legs and so I'm just using the old uh, nail trick. I've got some little cup, copper tacks, cut them off and squeeze them together and that will stop my pieces sliding around when I glue them up. An interesting aspect to this job is that the the whole thing is made to very specific dimensions. Not, not so much to fit a space but uh, because the numbers themselves weren't quite right um, according to the client so we had to make a few changes here and there to accommodate um, using round numbers wherever we could and to avoid some specific numbers so just preparing the top uh, frame for the the top of the altar And this is cherry veneer on poplar core plywood. So I'm just marking out for the dominoes here, um, which very shortly will become a major problem. But So this is one of the worst glue up experiences I've had in a long time. And you'll see, <laughs> you may have already spotted the, the problem. I did not. It was right about here that I realized uh, something, this just wasn't going to work. Uh, of course it wasn't going to work, I've, I know that, but yeah. Huh. Well, shit. Didn't think about that. Um, so, seeing as I'm in the middle of a glue up. <sighs> I think I'm just going to glue this and leave the dominoes in here. Oh, that's what you get for doing a glue up in the afternoon. Right, so to get around that issue, I decided to put some splines in the corners. So this is what I'm doing here. Of course, that meant now all of these frame and panel tops I have to put splines on, uh, which I wasn't planning on doing. I have got another one, two of them to do. So it just made a bit of extra work. But uh, So now the legs are glued up and I'm just squaring them off and making the little molded feet that go between the legs and I could smooth off the legs
and then it's just using the domino to join the legs and the rails but before I did the glue up I had to make a little finger notch on the front rail and that's for the pull out drawer slide shelf thing And again, for some reason, a very simple glue up turned into an absolute nightmare. This one really got me. I was swearing and yelling and... Yeah. So this is the little foot that is connecting the two legs at the bottom uh, on the sides of the altar. And believe it or not, we had even more issues with the domino length here. I think some of the problem was that these are uh, homemade dominoes and the lengths weren't all exactly the same. So I needed to add this kind of layer of trim which, which essentially looks like a, a secondary top underneath the main top. So I started by screwing the front on and then kind of clamping everything roughly in place to try and get it to sit as squarely as possible and then I could kind of screw the rest down. And I could clean up the top after the uh, all the glue had dried. And then I just made up some little runners for the shelf, or the sliding shelf. Um, it's just out of some scraps of red oak I had. Mm-hmm. 
and the shelf seemed to fit so that was good so what I wanted to do is add a couple of little spaces here little three mil spacer on the top back corners of the sliding shelf and that way that piece would rub against the runner and not the finished show face uh, before I got too carried away I needed to add the finger pull on the bottom of that and I had to make some custom moldings for the top edges of the top um, it's a strange little detail but the, the style calls for it so I started by uh, getting, getting rid of a lot of the waste on the router and then using my set of hollows and rounds to finish up the shape And those little blocks on the sliding shelf I just kept sanding them down until it was a snug fit and uh, ended up working really well and I used a Danish oil finish for this which the client uh, was really keen on and actually I think it came up really nice I got, ended up getting a very smooth finish So I whipped up these little blocks on the CNC uh, and you can imagine that is a pretty boring video so I didn't film that. Um, just a very simple block with a very simple pattern which again this design called for. And then it was on to making this small cabinet that went underneath the main altar. So I started out by making some flutes on the front corners. And then that just got dominoed onto the plywood carcass. The top section clamped up, I could screw on the bottom panel of the cabinet. And attach the backing panel. Then I had to make some skirting up to cover the wheels. And I threw together a couple of very simple frame and panel doors using uh, veneered plywood for the panel.
and I could fit the small hinges on the doors. So my clients told me that they will use this altar uh, to help them remember family and friends and loved ones um, that are no longer with us and ancestors and it's really just something that helps them to reflect on who they are and uh, who has been before them. So it's quite a nice um, object to have in the house and in fact this is going into their living room which I think is quite nice. <laughs> 